we have just come out of the um, Hiroshima Memorial Museum, which is the museum dedicated to the bombing of Hiroshima. I like literally don't even have words for it. It was devastating and it was heartbreaking. So all these are little origamis, little cranes stacked up on top of each other. There is so many of them. It's Isn't it? crazy. So you guys, we've just made it down to the A-bomb dome, which is the last standing building from when the explosion went off. How does it feel? Look, all I can say is just find a girl that makes you do better. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. Hello, travel friends, and welcome to this brand new series coming to you straight from Japan. In this series, we're taking you through some of Japan's best hotspots and getting a little bit lost along the way. So hit the subscribe button and let's get on with it. Good morning you guys. Welcome back to Hiroshima. It is our first day in Hiroshima and today we are doing what you should 100% do when you come to Hiroshima and that is go explore the Peace Memorial Park and the A-Bomb Dome. So it's going to be a little bit of a somber day because this is a very heavy and full on topic and it is a very serious thing in Hiroshima to learn about. Um, for those of you who don't know, Hiroshima is the site of the first A-bomb explosion, or the atomic bomb explosion rather. I can't give you any dates or any other info other than that. I have been to this museum once before when I was 14 and I was in Japan last time with a school group. But being 14, I probably didn't take it in very well and I can't for the life of me remember all of the details. So we're going to head down there now. It's about, it's about 850 metres from where we're staying, which is awesome. And we're going to spend the day at the museum. And then exploring the beautiful Peace Memorial Park and checking out the actual A-bomb dome. After that we might go check out the rest of Hiroshima, but we are both pretty conked at the moment. It's been a full-on first week in Japan, so we'll just see how we go. So we're going to head out the hotel now and walk down to the Peace Memorial Park. How's your mushroom ball? Hannah and I were discussing before, we don't know how they make the rice so sticky. Yeah, the rice is so sticky, it just holds itself together. Mm. It's amazing. It's delicious. And this is our view for brekkie this morning. We're at the Peace Memorial Park. And this fountain is magnificent. The Peace Memorial Park houses Hiroshima's Peace Memorial Museum, which houses artifacts, photos and artwork from the world's first nuclear bombing attack. It is a strong and emotional reminder of what happened here in 1945. This museum is dedicated to telling the stories of the victims of this horrific bombing and working towards ensuring nothing like this ever happens again. This clock up here tells us how long it was since the bombing and how long since the last nuclear test. It just is not enough days. The first atomic bomb in history was dropped on the city of Hiroshima on August 6th and a second on the city of Nagasaki on the 9th of August 1945. Between 100 and 200,000 people were killed and these are just some of the incredibly graphic and horrific photos from those fateful days. These bombs discriminated against no one and there is a haunting exhibit in the museum dedicated to the hundreds of small children killed in these bombings, including the clothes that were on their backs at the time and the stories from their families who survived long enough to tell them. It is just heartbreaking. dedicated to the facts and the figures of the bombing and the science behind the bombs themselves. As I said before, this museum is dedicated to trying to prevent something like this ever happening again and the people of Hiroshima and Japan believe that proper education and an understanding of how tragic and how drastic this bombing was will help prevent future bombings. 
Those bottles. They were both found in the same place, but this one was more effective. Mm -hmm. It is an incredibly well put together museum. Heartbreaking yet informative, devastating but also so inspiring. We have just come out of the um, Hiroshima Memorial Museum, which is the museum dedicated to the bombing of Hiroshima, and it was insane. It was, I like literally don't even have words for it. It was devastating, and it was heartbreaking, and it was really beautiful at the same time. Um, not easy to put into words or video, but if you are in Hiroshima, it is the one thing you absolutely have to come and see. Like, no matter how much time you have here, you need to go and see it. And then surrounding the museum is these beautiful parklands, which we're going to go and explore now. I actually recommend doing the museum first and then exploring second. One, because it is really busy. We got in there at open and within 10-15 minutes there were hordes coming through. Um, and the parklands are so big and so beautiful and there's plenty of space to have and explore. And two, it actually really sets up what all of this means and the significance of all of it. So if you're coming in here blind and not knowing anything about the actual bombing of Hiroshima, Museum first, park second. It is unbelievable. What do you think? Uh, it's pretty confronting. It's like, really uh, confronting, hey? Yeah, I, I like to think that I'm pretty good with that most of that stuff. I mean, the revealing of some of the stories and what you found behind the scenes, and yeah, it's just frightening that there's, there's weapons out there that can do that type of damage. Yeah. Uh, um, look, I don't think there was anything amiss. Uh, I was definitely a lot more enlightened about what's happening in the world in regards to removing uh, nuclear weapons. Um, we're obviously still not there yet because there's still testing being done. Um, and you can see there's an actual counter in there as how many days since the last nuclear test. It's been less than a year, hey? It's been less than a year. So um, until that's abolished, um, I think we've got a long way to go, but at least there's things in place. I met a man named Melchizedek. He was a good man, a good man. Wandering lonely in the desert, he invited me to stay. Said I would learn to love the space. I knew a woman her name was Jezebel. She was a wild one, a wild one. So all these are little origamis, little cranes stacked up on top of each other. And this is not the only display. There is so many of them. It's Isn't there? crazy. So they actually take all these when it gets so full and they um, recycle them and put them into bits of paper. And I don't think I have them in my pocket or in my bag. But when you go into the museum, you actually get given yeah, I haven't got it, but you actually get given a piece of paper that have been made from all these cranes after they've been recycled. They're so beautiful. Mm. It's very cool. She couldn't stand getting too close. And I'm curious who I'll meet next. Who among them I will love best. Depends upon the context, doesn't it? Doesn't it? This domed building is the only structure that was left standing near the bomb's hypercenter. It was originally known as the Hiroshima Prefectural Industrial Promotional Hall and now serves as a memorial to the hundreds of thousands of people killed in the first atomic bombings. You guys, I just spotted a cat inside the A-bomb building. It's So 
So you guys, we've just made it down to the A-bomb dome, which is the last standing building from when the explosion went off. And it's, only, it's within hundreds of meters of where the bomb actually exploded. And it's possibly the highlight of the whole area, but it's just so more and really, really powerful. Um, and you can see all kinds of crazy things like the rubble and the shadows left behind where people were standing. There's also animals inhabiting it. There's a cat and a bird. It's just such a crazy place. They've done three restorations, two since the A-bomb dome has become a heritage listed site. The latest one was actually this year and they've done seismic reinforcements, which my understanding is that that's to prevent it toppling over in an earthquake. So I was just thinking, it's not super stable, like it's already very crushed and it has got like lots of additions to help maintain its structure, but imagine if an earthquake came through and the whole thing just toppled. Yeah. But yeah, recently they've put steel and things in there to help it um, survive an earthquake or other seismic things, so it's pretty cool. No, there's a massive rod that goes like straight up through the guts yeah, of the... Yeah, there's rods in there and up there and then rods up in there too. Yeah. There's another building on the other side that's um, getting done. He's getting the renovation done for earthquake. And there's nothing quite like finishing a beautiful day exploring this incredible place than listening to a school choir by the water. I mentioned to you how beautiful Japan is in autumn. These colors are just stunning. G'day you guys. We look exhausted. I didn't put any makeup on so I apologize for that. Um, we you just stop apologizing to the camera about having acne and makeup. I'm going through a phase in my life where I just have pimples and I don't know how to stop it. I'm like 24 and I shouldn't have pimples and I just can't handle it. Unless you know this vlog is as real as it gets. We're really honest with you guys. I don't know if we should be. Other people are like real filtered and look beautiful, but we just don't. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway, we are heading out of our hotel. We crashed out for a few hours and we are heading into Hiroshima. We're gonna grab some snacks for dinner because we're not super hungry. We had a massive lunch. And we're gonna go and check out a bit of Hiroshima nightlife. Not totally sure what we're gonna see or do, but we figured we'd spend a couple of hours outside that hotel room. We'll put something into a vlog and whether it's good or not, we'll find out. We're gonna see what Hiroshima or Hiroshima, I don't know how to pronounce that, has to offer. All right, kids is gonna try and win me a Pikachu. Oh, I'm so nervous. I can't do this. That one looks hard because it's like you got to get the claw in between. Yeah. Whereas that one's on straight. Just need to. Nah, no way. Oh. No, because you hit the pole. No, I know, but it wasn't that far off. Oh, we're gonna burn through all of our cash. I reckon that one's a better chance. No, no, no. Because look how far that's almost falling off. I know, but because it's on a weird angle, you're gonna hit the pole every time. No, it's never gonna work like that. Yeah, because you're trying to scoop underneath it. I have the biggest anxiety around wasting money, like I'm the biggest saver ever. And he's just spent 500 yen on a freaking claw machine and didn't get anything out of it. And we're still going, I, I can't. This is driving up the wall. This is not fun. I'm trying to explain to it more the experience. It's not fun though, it's not an experience. It's just not... putting money in a machine. Oh, go no, to it. No, no. I can win that. No. You guys are like KPI out of control, like it's six floors of like cool machines and arcade games. It's crazy. So this is the Pachinko Lounge? The, the more family friendly ones are down below. Yeah. But that hole above there was like gaming land, so it's like... Like yeah, proper Final Fantasy and like big people games. Yeah, big people games. Big people games. <laughs> Massive nerd 
game. This is more air lounge, yeah. yeah. For those of you who don't know, Kira and I actually have a vicious competitive relationship where we arcade as regular as we can and I very often beat him. So Japan was going to be where he gets me back. Round one, fight. I couldn't even get to the second quarter. So I need to get to 150. Fuck, I'm letting you go. Two points. Two points. something I can beat ya. Final round, fight. Yeah, yeah. that's battle. Alright, it's on. Alright, I'm gonna pick. Yeah. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I just want to pause on that statement real quick, just in case you didn't hear it. I am in fact undefeated at Arcade Mario Kart. And the nerves were real going into this final round. We were neck and neck at one all, and I wasn't about to go down and break my undefeated title all at once. I'm doing wrong. No different. How does it feel? Look, all I can say is just find a girl that makes you do better and be competitive. Yeah. It's a lot more fun. Alright, I'm happy now. We can go. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week, guys. Next week, we have more Japan magic for you straight from Miyajima Island. I've probably already said this, but Miyajima was 100% my favorite day in Japan. Crazy lady. I thought she would tell you to piss, though. <laughs> <coughs> I wish I was feeling 100%. Mm. <laughs> Good morning.
morning, you guys. Subscribe. <laughs>